re renovating the, you can see the rainbows the here from the skylights. This is the teleprompter that they read from. That's actually the podium up there, and they've got it set up in a concert style. So, like, there's performances going on, but then when conference is here, they have chairs set up for the general authorities and everything. It's the big screen that they uh, project the image on for people that are way up there and can't see as well. When I was here for the first session of the April conference, I was actually in the very top level, almost to the front of the balcony. It's looking down, and the, whoever was speaking looked like just a little dot, and I couldn't even see his face or anything, but with the screens, it made it a lot easier to understand what was going on. So it's really neat. As you walk across there, watching, as he's watching you, you'll call it all the way across. And he's still watching. Okay, we're looking at some paintings that were done by, I think it was Arnold Freeberg, and if you know anything about him, these are the original paintings of his. He's long since passed away. But when he was doing these, he had about six done, and then Cecil DeMille from Hollywood, just a movie producer, he asked him to come down and help them with the movie production of The Ten Commandments with Charlton Heston. If any of you are familiar with that film, you should be. And these are just depictions of what's going on in the Book of Mormon. He went, out, went ahead and did these photos. He painted them. So he was a very skilled artist. Some of you may find these recognizable. I've seen him before. That's what I was told. So these are really nice paintings, and so I, I needed to include them because I recognized them from when I was just a little kid. And I had some of these pictures in my home, and it's very nice. So I thought I would just include that, and that's the artist right there working on something with the Ten Commandments. And I guess what the tour guide told us is that they actually directed the movie ten, The Ten Commandments off of what he painted and used some of the scenes that he depicted in the movie. So there's a nice couch right here and outer area. This is called the gallery. Very nice area. There's a hallway down there that leads to the restroom and things. So we'll continue a little bit. Now this portrait is really large and it was in storage for a long time, but he might tell the story. One single painting is over 30 feet long. It was commissioned in 1969 to be done for the 1974 Spokane World's Fair. So I don't know how long it took the man to paint it, but he had five years to paint it. This and is the original. The uh, picture of the Savior coming to the Americas. Which is what the book and home is all about. Now, did you know of, uh, I think, I heard that this painting was in storage for a long time, yeah. and then President Hinckley asked for it to be brought out and There's displayed two like here. This. Two yeah. And the other one's back here someplace. I can't remember. Okay. Very nice.
Well, I'm here in downtown Salt Lake City and I'm going ahead and ending this video blog. Unfortunately, my battery was low and so I didn't get to include all of it, but next week I will be here again. I think I might be meeting with a few other people and we'll be going on a few more tours. And so I'll go ahead and include some of those other video uh, clips in that in that blog and you'll get to see all of that. We'll go to the Joseph Smith Memorial Building and see a few things there and then maybe a uh, Temple Square again. So this video blog isn't over. This was just the first section. I don't know how many videos I'll split it up into, but as always, I hope all is well in your neck of the woods.